Hi and good day. Today I'm going to talk about something very important and I'm kind of sitting a little bit lower than normal today because I need to review a very important chart for you. This is about spinal degeneration. This is what happens to your discs, particularly with forward head posture, rounded shoulders. Understand that here is the vertebrae of your spine. This has a normal C-shaped curve. And the reason why you have a normal C-shaped curve is because the head weighs uh, 12 pounds and when your head is being compressed down is putting weight on these uh, facet joints in the back of the spine as you can see right here. Now if this curve gets straighter in this forward head posture or goes reversed you can see the back of the vertebrae open up and now you can see the compression now is going to be on the disc because now there's no weight bearing on the back of the vertebrae so that's what degenerates the discs. That's what causes the disc to, to get weaker, bulging disc, herniated disc. This is what causes irritation on the nerves. So I want to go ahead and show you a couple very important things. Uh, what happens is this is a normal curve right here. You have normal disc spaces. You have a normal curve. Uh, this is a beautiful neck. When the curve gets straighter, uh, the discs are still intact. They start to thin out a little bit. And uh, as it continues in the next phase, they start to degenerate. Now generally what happens is the disc will always degenerate kind of like an accordion, the top and the bottom of the neck and it will zoom, come, kind of come together. Generally in the middle of the neck, C4, C5, C5, C6, uh, that's generally where you'll see most of your spinal degeneration. As it, per, as it proceeds with improper uh, posture and improper support, we then start getting a lot of extra white calcium called osteoblastic activity, osteoarthritis. That calcium starts to fulfill the joint and it starts making the joint look messy, meaning that you have less space where that nerve is coming out of. Now, if I show you a motor unit, the motor unit is a two vertebrae and a disc. This is where the nerves come out of. Uh, and again, as this disc gets thinner, when the outside fibers start to wear, and again, here is a herni here's a herniated or a bulging disc. You can see a little bulging there. And when that compression is on the nerve or around the nerve as a result of inflammation, it will start to slow down the messages, kind of like when you uh, step on a garden hose trying to water a garden. So our objective is to get the irritation off that nerve. But proper biomechanics, proper posture is the key. And uh, just understand that once you cause degeneration, wear and tear, you're working with a weakened neck, kind of like wearing out the tires of your vehicle. Once the rubber tread is gone, it's gone. And uh, you need to take the best care of it and the proper care of it. So be aware of your posture, listen to your body, do the right things, uh, and make sure you're doing our exercises on our channel. Looking through uh, a lot of our videos, there's so many great things that can help you and hopefully you're taking advantage of it. I ask you to share the video, subscribe if you haven't, so you can continue to receive a great educational information for you, your loved ones, and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.